Good morning, all. CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday morning, September 25th. We're looking at Window Traders Market Profile of the ESNNQ. This is becoming like a uh, baseball game that's in extra innings, right? As we head into day five of this balance, right? ES just barely missing their all time high SA. Dow with another all time high SA. NQ trying to break out of balance on both the daily and the weekly. They stretched both of them yesterday. We take out yesterday's high, I would probably automatically go up on the daily, and if we get any kind of extension, on the weekly also. So the bulls really have the capability to keep pressing here. However, they're having trouble, as you can see. Okay? Here's Thursday's high. Here's yesterday's high. So we keep banging on the drum. We'll see if we're going to um, get any uh, resolution to this issue we have. Yes, they at least provided opportunities, unlike on Monday. So hopefully we get at least uh, that. Righty, one time framing down for four days. Again, you can either call a four day, uh, four or five day balance or call it down. It's your call. Um, bottom line is bills need to take out a daily high to at least come back firmly into balance for all parties considered, right? That's how we look at it. Game plan. Well, we did probe late in ES yesterday. However, the meat of the profile is right below our POC from yesterday, 16 wide. So um, the overnight is barely uh, high is above yesterday's high. Again, yesterday's high is not as important. It's still not important, but it's definitely more important than uh, the, uh, Monday's high because you could have taken out Monday's high and not get the balance high, which is exactly what happened yesterday. But if we get to yesterday's high today, I would think the odds are good to at least stretch our balance high and make an all-time high. Okay? NQ, if they are able to take out yesterday's high, again, pretty daunting gap. Starts at 282, gets filled at 464 from July 17th. So that's a huge hurdle they would have to overcome. They would not fill that gap the first time unless it was a strong trend day to the upside. Okay, you're not going to just keep getting into it without holding trend and fill it. Okay, they're all, they're 14 wide right now. Again, where we are, you could expect a lot of chop, especially NQ. They had an afternoon pullback low in K, as did we. Look at our overnight low. You can't make this stuff up when you're dealing with short-term traders. Look at this. Five contracts traded at our afternoon pullback low. <laughs> and it's poor. Okay. Look at the overnight high. 20 contracts traded a tick above yesterday's high. All right? We know, I mean, they're so visual and mechanical when you're trading against these short-term players. So uh, decent uh, our overnight range. Uh, 21 handles in the S, so nothing great. Um, 192, uh, that's what? <clears throat> 128 points. $3 range in NQ, so that's pretty good. A lot of chop, I would expect. Can you front run the overnight high? Sure you can. <laughs> of course you can. And then you could actually hold on and use the uh, all-time high as you're out. Um, as far as uh, the overnight low, if you're to push down, again, you can front run that and use value low as you're out. Those are two very early plays. That's why I tell you, you got to be in this trading room to find out what we're doing here. Um, NQ also has overnight single prints right here. As you can see. Now, can you front and run the overnight high in NQ? Sure you can. I don't know if you want to take all the heat up to here. It's 23 points. Um, on a one lot, I might. Bigger than that, I would not. I would only use probably 10 points. And the overnight low, again, this is a little more precarious. You can take it, but it's below value low and there's really nothing to lean on until yesterday's low. So, um, those are very, very early uh, plays this morning. And then on the chart. Again, just going to show you the daily here. Four-day balance for ES. Volume light. Hopefully we get better volume and extension through today's trading action. Thanks for liking and subscribing to this channel. Good luck trading today, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.